Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome all the way back. My name is Swan and I will be your GM on a wonderful game of Spelljammer Fall of Lumos. I would like to welcome everybody and we also have a special guest, Spotty, who is joining us at this time. Hello. With that, be with that being said, can anyone go ahead and give us a recollection of what happened uh, in our last session? The bastard, the bastard who is potentially a really huge bastard, bastard, is, the bastard is the one who keeps giving, giving us news updates. updates. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yes, we have discovered that the head of, as I pull up my notes, god damn it, something blood, oh, damn it, iron blood, iron blood industries, mm, was it iron blood or was it something else technically, I think it was blood, well, I'm certain well, it, it was blood, I just, I just don't remember if iron was involved. I mean, you there guys. is iron in blood. There has to be, otherwise it couldn't carry. Uh, I love you, you, but you're. But you're... <laughs> it was true. After a long, dedicated search, you guys have made towards trying to help the people of Omea Six after their more critical events. You guys had tracked down the Elucid Killer all the way back down to the most bureaucr bureaucracy-based planet in the solar system. And after finding a small hovel deep in the ground, you have found out that the man who has been giving you guys announcements at the beginning of your sessions, Lloyd Nightspire, is the same one who appears to be your main suspect in terms of the killings. Newt, Roy you Leaps, also, the serial killer, would not have expected that. You also discovered a number of barrels that were containing the calcifica calcification virus that you guys have swiftly put out. Thank, thank fuck. Oh, and we rescued a person from horrible transformation. Mutilation. Oh, right. Oh, right. We, we also have god shards in our backpack. Didn't we also discuss And a lot of god shards, by the way. A lot, Didn't a lot we also that discuss that Phaedra was going to get split multiple, into multiple pieces multiple on multiple different peoples? Uh, yes, yeah. we did. Okay, good. I can't remember. I think there was I think a full-on full full car, car discussion after our last, like, session, session, where, session where all three of us over right. here decided to have, like, where were we going to put all, all of these? So, I'm trying to remember if that was a real thing or if I imagined it. Oh, oh, and the fucking and the company, company that this, that this asshole, asshole decided, decided to take over, to take over also, ended also ended up releasing, releasing a fucking plague on my family. family. This is I'm not bitter about, about this, this at all. all. That, the, that, that there, ha there, that's what happened? There were documentation that indicated that the virus, well known as the White Death, was used previously as a eradication method for rust beasts. And it appears that uh, whoever <coughs> had the the information did not follow the rules, which specifically stated do not keep it near any uh, civilized locations, leading to a significant wiping of the population of of the planet Korea, uh, which is where Vale is from. Yeah, yeah no, that, that, was that was my family. Um, that was me. That was me. Um. um I thought, I thought we discussed this, but maybe, this, but maybe, maybe I didn't make that clear. Oh shit! Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's why that's why Vale had like, had, like such, a such a breakdown because Vale was, was trying to like figure out, hey, hey oh shit, oh, that, shit was that was me. Um. um oh yeah. So, so if Vale goes, Vail on, goes like on like a murderous tantrum, tantrum there, might there might be a reason. I I I I think Neo would happily help once having that. Well, I mean, I mean, yes, yes. Did I honestly not explain this the last time? Um, I don't remember it. I don't think it was as clear. I think you you were still kind of going over the the emotional parts of it. Mm -hmm. I think Vale will, will probably still be emotionally, emotionally going, going over this, so this might be very OOC. Okay. So just, so as, just a as a heads up. up. I'm oh, wondering man. how this is different from all of the other Vale murderous sprees. Now, now she's, she's gonna like. Let me put, let it, me put this it this way. way. You'll find out. She now actually has a That's purpose cool. in life. Yeah. Before they weren't personal. Now it's personal. Well, the other well, problem, the other problem is, is it was tech. 
<coughs> well, the problem is, at this point, it was also 200 years ago. So, you know, yes, I've been dealing with this, and are they inherited the land, but is it necessarily them? I mean, if it turns out they're, the fuckers are elves, then we're going to have a problem. Long time to hold a grudge. I mean, to be fair, for her, it was like last week. Yeah, probably. Well, no, but still. We'd also <laughs> mentioned that uh, Roven, as well as Knox, uh, went ahead and delivered uh, one of the survivors who was found locked inside this particular hovel um, and took her to the Church of Atia, uh, praise the wealth, and she is currently in recovery at this time. Can't we just, Can't we eat, just the eat the rich instead? instead? Don't, don't eat mean, them. You don't know where they've been. Very Compost very them. Very Compost them. Far yeah. Too yeah. Also, most of them are made of plastic. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, that, that, that just turned me off of this. Thank you. So, so. There are mushrooms that, you know. <laughs> oh, this would work. We could just, we set, could just the set the mushrooms on them, on them and then we can eat the mushrooms. mushrooms. You may be composted. That's why the survivors, survivors are going to be composted. Trespassers will, will be fed to the dragon. Or in or Mars, in Mars case, case, the bag of scary. And with that being said, with all of it going on, Knox, you are given an invitation to the following day to give further reports about your knowledge of the upcoming events that are supposed to take <coughs> place. Uh, I, they had sent you an invitation to Iron Blood Industries to speak with their commander. Yes. Oh yes, yeah. so, uh, and uh, Roven was joining me. Yes, that was also. So we are currently. Blend with walls. Walls. Managed to, man to, man to, man to, man to figure everything else out. Managed to figure everything else out. So Roven yeah. and they are there, and you are there, and oh, he walls. was here. What? What was he though? And this is where we currently are at. It is currently still the previous day, as just as night falls. Yeah, you can flip it's it on to get. It's around six o'clock. <clears throat> Give me one sec. I gotta step away. We popped the breaker. Oh. Well, damn, guys. <laughs> well, <clears throat> it is truly an electrifying session. Oh. <laughs> Eight minutes. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. You should be sorry. Yeah. So, what's the plan? <clears throat> Can you please repeat what you said? Cause I have to walk away. Sorry. Uh, so it's currently around six p.m. You, you have an invitation. Eight? to give a report at Iron Blood Industries at 8 p.m. tomorrow. You are guys, uh, we're currently outside the Church of Tia. Eris and Vale and Naya were still around the Steel Butterfly. Yeah, weren't we all just like trading Yeah, weren't we all just like time? trading baths time? Yeah, you guys were all yeah. trading bath times after going through the sewers and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> Nia still like absently prestidigitating things because good lord she's also she's a little scarred she's going to be doing that for a little while yeah uh, v Vale's probably like yeah, nursing Vale's a drink probably and like not nursing a drink and not saying anything Which, a very very a very 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 big, very big scary, drink. scary drink by the That's way how you uh, can tell she's having a bad time i mean to be fair go ahead go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Vale nurses, nurses drinks a lot anyway, anyway so, so you know, this one's just, let's just, let's just put it this way. Most of the time, of the time it's bourbon, <coughs> this time it's tequila, or the, or the equivalent. Oh goodness. So, you know, so, you know let's put it that let's way. That that's, way. Way that's a good way of knowing, knowing that something wrong. might be wrong. Swan, Swan, Swan what, were you saying? what were you saying? So, pick her of a question for y'all, because I didn't actually ask this before, and that was my own fault, because I didn't even think about this, and then I looked it up. Hey, where did you guys put that giant suit of armor? Clank has, Clank has it. it. Okay, so the, 
the duration of enlarge and reduce is one minute. <laughs> oh, we're oh, we're oh, I thought it was supposed to be one hour. No, it says duration is one minute. <clears throat> <clears throat> so unless uh, Aeris has been burning through his second level spells to keep it small, and you guys have been taking turns trying to to motion this incredibly heavy suit of armor. Essentially, when I had it, uh, the intent was going to be for us to bring it back once the tank was dealt with. So I would have uh, sent my, I would have sent compression off to return to our room and leave it there. Um, I mean, it's a standard size suit. The problem isn't the size. The problem is the weight. Oh, shit's heavy. It is very heavy. How heavy? Uh, hold on. 900 kilos! Oh, it's... Oh, it's... That might be... In power That's armor. Right. Power, okay. power armor... 9,000? That can't be right. Oh, Posey, are you being manhandled? Uh, power armor without sufficient power requires a DC 15 strength check to open it inside and a DC 15 check to open from the inside and outside and require up to one minute to enter and exit. Okay, but... And it is not powered. <clears throat> okay. But how heavy it is, is it? Very heavy. <laughs> Carry on. Goodbye, Posey. So where did you put this thing, just for the record? I don't think we have a ship to go back to at the moment. I need to keep track of your shit. Yeah, ultimately, we will not... Put it in a storm drain. <sighs> we, uh, if, storm drain. <clears throat> if anything, I think we would have put it into the house because we were... No, wait, that still would have been a couple... Nah, we could have left it, done our fighting. There's been no answer to this time. I'm Co going to assume that you test, guys test, did test. leave it at the steel butterfly, but I will mind you to let you know oh, that tell your shit is there. Tell them, tell them I'm talking. There's something up with my speaker. Oh, his mic's down for... No, no, his mic's down for a minute. Just give me a sec. Oh, okay. He's been trying to talk to you. What the hell's going on? Test, test, test. Anyone hear me? Yeah, yep. got you now. Why now? What the hell? Oh, I wonder. Okay. Um. So I was saying, <clears throat> it's one minute time. One minute time. Uh, what we would have done is we would have cleared the area up ahead of us, gone back for it, and then essentially sprinted with it as fast as we could up to the house where we um, went through and found the... <clears throat> yeah, that was the house that had all the nasty shit in it, so we would have been left it at the front door, and then after that, we would have taken it back home with us. How long would that have taken, essentially? I, I will agree to say that would have taken because it was like noontime when you guys finally left. So I would say it's going to take you a while to have to lug that thing. I mean, you're talking a while. Well, I'm thinking strategic, uh, enlarging, and uh, was it um, shrinking? So we clear the area out and essentially run back, grab it, and book it forward. Whoever moves the fastest, because if it's uh, shrunk, then it's not as heavy, right? Yes. Halves on all dimensions, reduces in size. Yes. And I think Eris is technically your fastest, if I'm correct. I believe Vale should be. Or Vale. Let's go <coughs> back, 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 back to the fact that at the time, um, Eris probably, Eris probably was one of our heavier, heavier ones, ones who could probably, who could lift, probably the lift the fucker. So. so. Doesn't matter, his strength wasn't uh, altered. So yeah, my my. If you're cool with this, essentially it would be what? How many casts would it take for us to get it into the building? And then, how far away from our tavern are we from the building that we found? I would say at least at least, <laughs> given it, you're sprinting at this distance and you are running it, it's going to take at least three. 
Uh, how many uh, spell slots do you have there, uh, Eris? Before the level end of the day. Specific, level two and above. Uh, is this true and different, though? It's You're the one that is using large and uh, shrinking it. No, no, like for, for spell. Asking oh. Who is carrying the heavy <clears throat> shed? Uh, give me one sec. I got to chat with uh, Falcon about his spells. Um, okay, your spells are, you can only cast Bail, so many Naya, a certain level. Naya, Rovin, what are you guys doing? Uh, <clears throat> primarily following Nox's lead. Oh yeah, you can only do it up to speed. Yeah. One, uh, if you up it to level 3, it may yep. change. Nia's going to, I well, guess, I have... uh, start scuffling around looking slot, for uh, fancy yes. clothes, or at least uh, embellishments. Because if we're going to see the guy, then... <clears throat> and... We want to look like we at least look formal while we're probably wearing armor and such underneath. But how are we going to fake that? It's shit clanks. I mean, you, most of us are wearing light armor, like leather or hide or whatever. So maybe that's not so bad. Uh, I don't know. The only one who isn't is Mortis, and I guess he could just hang out in the bag of holding just in case. But uh, yes, the undead man that is his well-known place of or, of origin <sighs> and Hold where on. his mailing address is. How does Look. he fit in the bag Look. of holding? How big is Mortis? Very, very carefully. He's short. He's he's like smaller than Nia, and Nia's only like 5'4". The, the agreement has been that not comfortably, which to his benefit, he is dead. So he can't feel it as much, but yeah. It's not super comfy, but he can cram in there. And since he's a like revenant, breathe. he doesn't have to breathe. Hmm. This is a much funnier and less depressing uh, concept than what I originally no, had, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. So we have like a, a, a uh, pendant of some sort we can basically just put things in people. I mean, typically you could now. It does have an openness if, if Robin wants to carry around Mortis inside. Could we have to have an armor in there? Uh, it is a living being. <laughs> The armor is a living being. No, no, no. Like, a, a living being can go into the amulet. It says a willing creature. Ah, right. I am glad we got her uh, to... So if you put, put Mortis in the armor, 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 armor and Mortis in the thing, would that work? Will the armor fit through a one-meter orifice? No, that, no, that uh, Raven's, Raven's thing. thing that we can... That, I think that only uses for his only use for living creatures. But technically, if he's wearing the armor... He... Oh, wait... Does undead count as living, though? Willing, Willing creature. creature. Alive or Alive dead, or dead is, technically is technically different. different. Right. Yeah, no, fair enough. It doesn't actually say living. Reasonable. Will it, Will it consent, consent can be given, can be given, given if even if you were undead. undead? That's true. Okay, well. <laughs> our best plan of attack, then, is to I'm, I'm cut back. Sorry? Now that we've deposited our passenger, we'll head back, throw Mortis in the armor, and attempt to throw it into the Raven's rest. <clears throat> so yeah, we would have left the armor in the house. Oh, look, we're look, using we're the using things, the things that, we that we have access to, access to which is apparently not enough to actually do anything useful. Anything useful. I know, I didn't, I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't think about that one. I was like, oh, okay. So it says... It is to be treated as though it were heavy plate. Well, I mean, he's a fighter so, type, so he should. Well, he can he put it on. Armor? He's just not proficient in it. So is this no, the I plan? think he might actually be proficient in heavy armor, though. Oh, all along good, but he doesn't even have to move. All he has to do is wear it. Well, okay, but if he's coming along as backup, why put him in armor he can't use? Transport. Purely transport. <clears throat> As a follow-up question, do we have a power source for it so whoever is going to actually wear it can use it? He doesn't need to use it. Longer term, Longer term, term question. question. Yeah, that just needs to be present in it. You just, uh, you just need up. to show up. We don't up. care if you're good or not. Just show up. We don't I'd... care if you need to move. Wait, why do why do we need the armor at all if it's not going to be used? I I have missed here, something here. Because okay. I think the. The Raven's Arrest uh, net, net. It's technically, it's technically Raven, Raven Slumber. slumber. It needs a it willing person, person to go in. No, no she's asking yes, why are we keeping the armor. Why the armor needs to be there. The armor because is, the ar we're the armor is... Support the armor, and the armor needs a... So we're going to put somebody in the armor and then put them in the Raven's... Uh, 
no, but she's not answering my question why we need to take it. Oh, oh wait, do, do you mean just as a general thing to like yeah, have it yeah. with us rather than like, the armor. Just, yeah, rather than specifically? Okay, yeah, no, that's that makes perfect sense. We're for some reason, I thought this was for the purposes of like the visit to the asshole. No, no, we're, we're dodging, dodging the Oh yeah, no, I'm, 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 totally, I am totally fine with that. No, I, I just got really confused there. The entire time that y'all are, are fighting back and forth about what is the purpose and seeing probably the biggest big sister energy you've ever seen coming off of Naya, Mortis has already like unclamped the back of this thing and tried to like uh, crawl inside. You can already see he's got like one arm sticking up through the top with right next to his neck. It is not very it's cozy so for him, as you can see. He, he could actually probably fit through the top hole itself because of how short this man is. And honestly, honestly, they're like trying to get into a dress that doesn't fit. That's the overfits for him, and he, like, at one point he can kind of, like, pull himself inside because he's so small. There is Nox, followed by Mortis, followed by Naya in height. (laughs) Pretty much. He's he's quite short for a half-elf. How tall is he? Like... Five, five, what, seven, five, seven, no, 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 not that short. He's like maybe like he's got small between... dom energy, okay? <laughs> so he's, he's, he's a power he's bottom. A power he's a sandwich? sandwich? It sense my head, head, okay? <laughs> short king. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here, here. What the what the Far, far. <laughs> no, that that has nothing to do with like. No, no, no. I'm I'm just asking because that that's what came to mind. Mortis is your hot dog. No. No, no, no. The boy is. Uh, well, she owns. Lita, Lita, this, is our, this is our group. <laughs> it's great. I love it. <laughs> well, just remember, whenever life gets you down. Keeps you wearing a frown. <laughs> just gotta whip out your hot dog. Yeah, please. I don't think I don't she knows, think she knows, she knows the rest of the song. Of the song. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, stop <laughs> spoiling it! <laughs> Did I hear that correctly? Sing it, sing it. It's, it, it's, okay. also, it's also a song. He has left you okay. behind, and when you're all out of hope, down at the end of your rope and nobody's there to throw you a line if you ever get so low that you don't know which way to go come on and take a walk in my shoes i never worry about a thing i've got the world on a string because i've got the cure for all of my blues I take a look at my enormous penis. Penis. I'm like melting away. I take a look at my enormous penis. Penis. Yeah, Come <laughs> to stay. Well, I sing and I dance when I glance in my pants. It leaves me feeling like a sunshiny day. I take a look at my enormous penis, penis. and everything is going my way. Huh? That's not <laughs> There's Besides more, but I guess you the idea. And that's why she's a world round bard. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I correct you. World's renowned bard. There, there we, we go. go. Do we all, we all get inspiration for that now? <laughs> oh, please, oh, please, yes. yes. I mean, this could I mean, also be inspired. inspired. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think we may have broken our GM. Oh, no. <laughs> so, sorry, Small. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I was like. I was saying something and then suddenly nothing happened. I was like, what happened? I was like, oh, and then the internet kicked in and kicked it back out. I was like, ah, good. Uh, Make sure you're not VPNing to silly places. Nope, I was VPNing again. And that's not a sponsor. Anyway, yeah. moving on. So as you watch Mortis's arms swing back and forth inside from the top of the, uh, from the top opening of this powered armor, unpowered, uh, he, he, uh, Rovan, are you sucking him up? <laughs> Phrasing. We will, uh, we will try and use the uh, Raven Slumber to transport this armor. You will, you will see. As he disappears, he like sticks one hand up and like does a thumbs up. 
Nicole. Wearing is a very subjective discussion, apparently. I'll be back. <laughs> yes, that was the joke. Oh my goodness. There we go. Now we got Kink to work it again. Okay, so. These two gentlemen are disappeared. Mm -hmm. And we took care of that portion. All right, what else? <clears throat> well, I guess at this point... For... Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I guess at this point, has Rovan and uh, Nox returned back yet? Yeah, I'd say you guys have gone back. <clears throat> okay. And we had the first bat round of showers, didn't we? Because we went and... Mine is, mine is Neo, like, consistently... Prestidigitating everything in sight. Probably, Probably us. us. Well, it's because it, we it, went it, out. It's pretty stinky in this situation, yes. <clears throat> well, at this point, I'd suggest. Hmm. Yeah, we're all here. Everyone's cleaned up. It's time for drinks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, Robin. Are we on the, we on the second floor, floor here? here? Uh, it's looking from the second floor. I can drop it down to the first floor. I just wasn't sure, that's all. No, no I, I, I can. It's, it's not that entertaining on the first floor. It's a, a... I only got so many maps, and I gotta put them all away. <laughs> bravo, bravo. <clears throat> so, Robin... Yes. You are accompanying me to the meeting tomorrow, correct? I felt that you should have somebody you could somewhat trust at your side for that, unless you would prefer to take somebody else. Oh, God, no. If anything, um, your ability to get out of shitty situations is, I think, going to be incredibly helpful for this situation. I think that is the idea, yes. I pride myself in avoiding the shitty situations in the first place. The situation, if you will. Precisely. <laughs> With the meeting tomorrow, I'm... I'm concerned that we may have shown our hand too much, especially for this potential hazard, seeing as that it is his mother that we're going to be talking to, so... I'm not sure how to really approach this. Feign ignorance is my recommendation. Well, the problem is I gave a fairly detailed yet vague report, uh, vaguely detailed report to a Robocop, Mr. essentially. Gordon. Sorry. Now, I didn't give names because we didn't have names, but I just gave intent and location, but... And you think that could be possibly traced back to you? I suspect there's a fair amount of plausible deniability, so you should be fine. I believe feigning ignorance until <coughs> further proof presents itself is the best course of action. But can we be sure of that? Well, as far as she knows, and unless they have someone watching the house that we just went through, we had not gone through there yet. I guess I... That'll be tricky. I'm not one for lying. Oh, we know. Then omit. Don't, don't directly lie. Most people find that a lot easier. You're not required to provide her with details. Very true, very true. Do what you must. But the fact, also, we got to keep in mind that they've also visited our ship, too. Yes, and I'm sure they were entertained by our collection of goblins and Hadozi. Indeed. Actually, with that, I wonder, because they said they had to do a full inspection. I wonder if uh, any of them have found anything yet. We're not, we're not getting on that ship until we know exactly oh, what the hell they've put on it. Mm -hmm. I pity the poor inspectors. I... I weep for their sanity because I don't suspect it could have lasted. Uh, damn, certain damn certain they are attempted a paycheck, managed, managed, to managed to pretend that they actually had any sanity left. Uh, True, but I'm suspecting that they didn't do a very good job inspecting it with constant goblin harangment. Indeed. My concern is less inspecting and more so emplacing. 
I well, love our goblin homies. I will recall that you did have Dag uh, sit in the seat and do a full instead. Both the the crew has done a full tear down of the ship to see for any tampering and <clears throat> heard back of any evidence that there was any. Very true. Still, that horrendous concern of mine. Understandably. <clears throat> Understandably. What would it take to alleviate this concern? <laughs> Inspecting the ship myself, personally, but we're about three days away. Fucking ship. <laughs> Bill's just Bill's gonna, go, gonna get go get more alcohol. As we enter, because we are very much so entering the belly of the beast by going to... Iron Blood Industries. It might be a good chance for us to do some recon of the location. Um, that storm, storm the fucking place. Uh, I Perhaps. recommend discretion as usual. Oh, of course, discretion. I will point out that we have suspicions at this point, but no actual proof that. Iron Blood is responsible for what we think, believe them to be responsible for. I don't think Iron Blood themselves will be responsible, but the very person who's... Now, was she the head of Iron Blood, or was she head of security of Iron Blood, DM? She's the head of Iron Blood Industries. Yeah. The head CEO of Iron Blood um, kind of gets to call the shots, and generally, in my experience, those that are being paid tend to jump when the commander says jump. Interesting, Interesting that the entire wants, wants to get a hold of little us. old us for such a small thing. I will point out that she's a public figure and as such would make an excellent target if somebody was to attempt to do a red herring, so to speak. Well, I smell fish, but I'm not sure it's from this. You thinking she's unaware of what her son is doing? Her son her son all right under his mother's nose. I, I'm not uh, suggesting that she's unaware or not. We have no information to go on at this point. There's However, a bag. She wants to know the bag. <clears throat> it may not even be her son that is responsible. It is entirely possible that it's a third party that is attempting to pin the blame on others. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Did you see the handle? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Sorry, the cat, Sorry, the cat is, is eating, eating a bag. Um, um Rogan. Rogan. I, I love, I, I the, love concept the concept of you being logical. being logical. I really don't fucking care right now. Oh, that's a different story. I do recommend that we f uh, thoroughly investigate this so that we may properly direct Vale's eyes. You lot you are fine, fine, to, fine investigate. to investigate. I'm, I'm getting drunk. As you you go ahead and go to the bartenders and they offer uh, the special of the day is something called a pixie... Um, Pixie Cider, which is uh, served by the Teaspoon, this surprisingly potent drink. It leaves the dr drinker seeing stars and pixie dust trails behind for the next 1 to 4 hours. Which sounds, which like, sounds like an absolute entertaining, entertaining ball. Give me the hardest, me the shit, hardest you shit you got. I ain't looking to stars. see stars. I mean, thank you. Well, it's oh, not a teaspoon, like... so... ...incapacitated for that amount of time. Nobody, Nobody gives, a, gives shite. a shite what I do at the moment. I'm no good to your bloody investigation. Get somebody me somebody to stab. As you wish. Where's Kirk when you need him? Sorry? Uh, presumably hassling someone who may or may not deserve it. Unfortunate. All right. Well, with that in mind, though, Rovin, what are you thinking? Or is that Rovin? Um, Eris, what are you thinking? Sitting at table. Nothing. Nothing to put at this point. So you guys are just just to recap, if you don't mind, GM. We we found paper notes and even signatures of this gentleman uh um you found a you found several journal entries and you did find notes from uh one of the companies yes seeing as this guy 
is a news anchor, and I've been around for as long as I have. Did he ever start as a newspaper columnist? I will say in... You could do a history check if you want. Ooh, okay, that's not a bad roll. And add... Eighteen. You kind of knew that Lloyd Nightspire kind of picked up and with the amount of money that he had at his disposal, uh, the radio show that he has been producing did not require a lot of startup. He already didn't need to go through a lot of advertisers or anything, so most of his his work was was. It, it, he didn't need to beat around the bush very long. Hold on, this is his radio show that he produces? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Do pardon me, everyone. I need to go pull up some documents. I'll be back a little bit later. Knox is... My intent is this. Knox is going to go find the paperwork of him signing any sort of requisition forms or permission forms to... No have to start the, to do the startup. I am going to cross-reference. I'm essentially going to analyze the signatures on the notes to the signatures of what he's written, essentially. I want to verify that this is indeed him and not some sort of con. Okay, you can... Um, <laughs> you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> I guess you could try the registrar's office. Yep, that's my intent. Go and see if I can find, because that... There should be, um, uh, was it, uh, Freedom of... FOIP, right? Freedom of Information? Yeah, yeah, of course. The, the American space concept. Space America, of, yeah. It's Space America, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there, America, fuck there's, yeah. There's got to be deeds somewhere. There has to be something that's on public record with his signature or with his writing. <clears throat> okay, so Knox and uh, Compression will leave y'all to... <laughs> Go ahead so and go with him. This man has no sense of self preservation. <laughs> and Eris will go join him. Please keep this man from fucking dying. All right, that just leaves Groven, Vale, and Nia. What are you guys doing? Um. You know, I'm not sure, actually. I feel like Nia should be doing something, but I'm not entirely certain, but... She's, uh, she's still twitchy from the slog through the sewers and all that happened in there and etc. So she's uh, probably not fit for terribly much while we're waiting. But she should be doing something. Just not sure what. Any thoughts, anybody? I'm you like to move myself, myself upstairs, upstairs and, and move myself, move myself off, off the map, and I can't find myself now. Uh, Naya, I should be keeping an eye on Vale. Naya, I suppose we'll have to keep an eye on Vale. She's just she throwing herself off the damn map. <laughs> what did Nia do? Vale's the Vale? Nia does when she's, uh, I guess when she it's eventually works up for a minute. She, like, she, she does try the pixie cider. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. It's definitely I'm a very that. sweet taste. Almost tastes like nectar. That tracks. <coughs> and Nani is going to try composing while blasted out of her mind on Pixie Boo. Huh? Three years. Going to go sit on the roof to as we get away from the potential of the trains. Or more interesting. I'm not sure which. Yeah, no, fuck it. She's going to actually do a like, offer to do a quick little improvised performance. You know, couple a couple of songs, short set. Can I get a performance check? With the disadvantage for 1d4 hours. hours. Okay. Okay, sure. Why not? Sure. I'm just I'm amused. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. At what? Oh, no. It, 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 it said you could see stars and pixie dust. Oh, oh, never mind, never mind, mind then. Cool. cool. Alright. Uh, there it is. What? 
Zero success? What? Oh, th what? That, what? that I think. I, I, it, it was an equal, not a plus. Excuse me. Plus. There. 20. There, there, there. That's better. How does our bard whiff? The bard did not whiff. The, 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 the player whiff. Well, no. Well, no. There's, the There's the trick. Which is why everybody's, why everybody's like, no, 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 no. hang on, hang on. what? Well, I mean, the syntax is, if you just look at roll 20, the syntax is obvious. It's an equal rather than a plus. I didn't well, pull yes, down, but in general. In general. So Eli, anyway. can, you, um, can you roll me, uh, give me one of your star child rolls? Sure. Oh, no. Oh, please, oh, please, be, well. please be well known That'd here. Just... That'd just be great. I'm going to go low. And it was high. Okay. Ball breaker beat. Uh, just do a 1d50 for me. Okay. Nine. You, you pull in nine gold. Eh, it was experimental anyway. Nia is a little bit. She's she's a starstruck. Star she's twirlier. She's twirlier than usual. There, there's a lot of startup people here. A lot of space pop. Go on. Go on. Space so, space. It, so it, you, unfortunately, in this particular space. crowd, you're you're a face among many. And that's good. But you do get some some good gold for uh, for you know your your drinks at least covered for the night with the with the decent play. The sister is actually very appreciative of your enticing of the individuals coming on in, especially since uh, they didn't know when they were going to get their next big group coming after the wedding from the previous day. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, Nia. Yeah. Uh, evinces her willingness to, you know, do this he now and then while she's in town, just you know, for the hell of it, if they if they need a performer. Well, so, well, so, <laughs> I'll, totally I'll totally hang out and like do things to make your life easier. Mm -hmm. All you know, bright and cheerful, and yeah, yeah ask. Yeah. Which to me, well, which to me is a compliment, a compliment by the way. Vale, <laughs> as you sit up on the roof, kind of. Thinking over the series of events, I'm getting pretty, getting pretty damn. Damn. I'm pretty close, close to like blitzed here. You you take a swig of your of your your best drink and look to the side, and you can see Spirit actually sitting next to you, seemingly making the same actions as you, replicating. Bud, you really don't need to do that. It's all right. Little buddy is is doing the mimic. He, he doesn't want to be alone. That's precious. Which is, Which is, is except totally that's totally not, not where my mind space is. But I mean, but I mean it's adorable, yes. Uh, Roven and Little think anything in particular? Or just avoiding oh, oh. the crowd? Roven has uh, found a nice, quiet, dark coder and has retired with a large mug of strong tea. Uh, he and Little think proceed to a conversation about the merits of jerky. <laughs> You, you try to of review course. over the, you know, as a survival food, it's something that comes up often. But each response back from little thing is more like food, food, food. Eat, eat the food, eat the food. Eat the food. Which given, I, like I mean, yes, he, you can see positives and negatives because he can't really speak, but he can kind of, you can get the pictures as he's telepathically, telepathically sending you back. <laughs> You know, you hold up a piece of jerky and be like, what's your thoughts? He'll give a nibble and be like, good, bad, yep, yeah, nope, good, good, yep, yeah, good, more, jerky. I... <laughs> ah, I'm so nothing. glad we have Little Dink. We have, we have so many great NPCs out of character. Carry on, sorry. And with the expert's opinion, Roven will proceed to purchase a decent amount of the more preferred ones. Well, well, all right then. 
Knox and uh, Eris, I'm so sorry. Do you guys discuss anything on your way over to the registered office? Huh? Now, now that I seem uh, have lost Knox. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just taking a sip of my drink. Got to think. What would Knox say on all this? I'm enjoying the like background noise here. I do appreciate the company there, Eris. I'm quite concerned. There's something not adding up with all this. Rovin is correct. We shouldn't be jumping to conclusions, but at the same point, being able to solidify that this is indeed... Seems like we have some possible damning evidence, but to better make sure it's legit damning evidence before we uh, accuse most and, and absolutely. <sighs> Nox would. You didn't hear it, and I forgot to push it, but Nox would let out a heavy, heavy sigh. Well, all I need to do is find any sort of information that he would have signed off on, and even better, if there's any sort of. If he's written. If we can find a paragraph of anything he's written, that would be. Incredibly helpful because I can compare it to the notes here. That's right, so we're gonna come along behind, behind looking for things. <clears throat> Two sets of eyes is better than one, as they say. Absolutely. Tally ho, as we say. That, that maybe we admire some of those wonderful mechs we saw on the way in. Don't get me distracted! Don't, don't, don't make him too happy. <laughs> He's going to make I me am... get off of you. It keeps making me think of those things. I am unapologetic about this, though. What can I say? Unapologetic. Eh. Uh... What can I? What can I say? The joke's magnetic. <sighs> We're getting, We're getting to the point where this is a bit steel. of a steal. It's fully functioning too. And, an and anatomically correct? I'm powered on and ready to go. <laughs> I love how we just immediately roll into it. <laughs> well, I mean, better than rolling out, I guess. Thank you, you I guys... set that up for yeah. someone. <laughs> you guys eventually make it over to the registrar's <laughs> office and make your request. Uh, by the way, they happily go ahead and give you that list of uh, houses you were looking for. Ah, thank you very much. I'll take it. I'll actually later keep an eye on that. The, um... But I you will... ask for... Uh, what are you asking for specifically? <clears throat> the radio show that... Uh, what's his name again? I, I'm just going to write it down, but what's his name again? Lloyd Nightspire. Lloyd. Yes, yes. Lloyd Robinson. Robinson. I'm Lloyd Robinson. This, this is international. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. God, that God, took that, 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 that long? <clears throat> I was trying to remember. Was it Lloyd? Yeah, okay. So I'd like to see. Um, I will ask. What am I asking? Do we know what his radio show is called? The news. The news. That's the news from Lake Wobegon, where all the women are strong, all the men are good-looking, and all the children are above average. Don't tell my chance, or please get my chance. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh, okay, I was uh, going with the Garrison Keillor uh, radio show. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry to And that was Red, Gre Red Green that was uh, the other joke. Yeah, of yeah, of course it was. What else, what else would I expect from Falcon? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, like oh. or something. Oh, Kanukistania. Night Spire right. News. It's, that's what it is. That's what we're gonna make it. Hosted on Abora. Brought to you by. <coughs> Hello, Hello, Hello. Advertising. Oh my god. So I just put. Cornogs Cor Cornflakes. They're delicious! <laughs> <laughs> in the background. By the way, I do love oh, go ahead. Carry on. 
I was gonna say, I just put this in my notes as Night Spire News or abbreviation, and that's what the abbreviation came up as. Please tell me that does not, that, that looks like a face. Oh god, I, oh see, god, it I see it as a face. <clears throat> but wait, wait, where's the face? Hang on. Uh, it's on the Spill Drummer's chat. He's got shades. Oh my god. I just see him, I just as, see really, him as really, really crying. Really crying. Or you will, or you will once we're done with him. It's one step worse I, than QQ. It's NN. I honestly, I see it as like a sort of a really weird dead eyes. Like this man's been mur fucking obliterated. I mean, all, I mean, all of these things, things could come true, could come depending, true on depending on how things go. Things go. Indeed. Indeed. So, Nox is going to inquire about the license of Nightspire News and ask to see <clears throat> uh, any uh, the public documents uh, revolving around the incorporation, incorporation thereof. The for the forms required to incorporate not to not to incorporate to request. Sorry, I thought I just turned a door open. Uh, to request. To request, um, or... There's a fucking word I'm trying to think of, and I can't think of it right now. Not appeal, not edict, it's, uh... The application... I wish that I could read his mind. The application form for Nightspire News and any sort of documents uh, revolving around the agreement... They don't have those on record. Those belong to Iron Blood Industries, but they are able to give you plenty of his uh, autographs. That'll work. Autograph will work perfectly. They will direct you over Rich. towards uh, one of their more, I will not go ahead and say uh, fan favorite sections, but basically <clears> we're <throat> They have a number of memorabilia. Um, and you, you are able to, to see he has signed a number of different documents and light things, a couple of different albums. He wrote a song once. What about his license? <clears throat> is, is, it, is he required to have a license to be a radio host? Not technically. On a bureaucratic world, what bullshittery is this? <coughs> when you, when your company is one of the major outstanding sources on the planet. Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Where both would he have gone to school for this? <laughs> <laughs> um. Does one go to school to be a Iron Blood Industries was not a f was not founded in Nocturna Prime, so he is not technically from this system. That helps to know. Okay. As one of their one of um, Abora's main exports is magical items off of the planet through the multiverse is there a any sort of history or by uh of iron blood industries on record what kind of history are you looking for <clears throat> the um work they did work with, they did with box machina in craig hammer <sighs> Uh, essentially, what I'm looking for is any sort of record or documentations revolving around Iron Blood Industries applying for permits, um, getting access, growth, any 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 paper trail to for them to be as big as they are. That's public record. Surprisingly enough, the registrar's office. Can only give you very little, which kind of tells you how much that Iron Blood, Everburn, and Riverbend push to ensure that their own 
paper trails are their own. Bastard, mm-hmm. Bastards. Not surprised. They, they they were the ones who effectively made the register's office. Is there personal feelings on whether or not they would like to provide anything to the register's office? But as you're given several folders over the next hour, the parts and pieces that kind of come up are talking about Iron Bloods <clears throat> expansion into certain mining operations. It talked about their peace operations. And it will also frequently, you'll see documentation about their involvement when it comes to the natural born forces. Frequently enough, you will find tons of articles discussing about the push and pull between the natural born and between the Knights of the Dawn. Hmm. Well, now with all this information, I am going to take out my all-purpose tool and double check. I guess do a history check with it and try and cross-reference uh, writing, uh, seeing if I can, uh, and looking at the paraphernalia around um, Lloyd's uh, autographs, cross-reference, and all that fun stuff. Whoa. Is you that take acceptable? Time. Yeah. You take time in trying to get a good understanding of Iron Blood with the available information. Eris, you assist him along the way. And I got a 30, by the way. Of, of course you got there. <laughs> Stop breaking bloody game. game. And yeah, after... Yeah, did you taste anything? Did, did that help, did that help with, your, with, your, with, your, um, with your ability, with your ability to, figure to figure out if things were right? right? <laughs> I'd like to believe that Nox is, like, putting his face to the paper and just dragging his face around. <laughs> I am looking at the period marks here. Oh, absolutely. I'm honestly, I'm honestly I'm reminded, reminded of a scene, of a scene from, from like, CSI, like CSI, the original, the original just after like Griffin like, leaves, leaves and like what's his Hodgins or whatever is looking at him going, Oh, yeah, we totally oh, yeah, solved this. Solve this. It's like, it's like Grissom, would Grissom would have tasted it. it. And over the next hour, it definitely, I mean, it, it already kind of brings you. A strange feeling as you look through the images and the pictures and the photos between <coughs> both Veronica and Lloyd Nightspire that they're involved in these companies. But in reviewing over Lloyd's documentation, you can definitely confirm that it is his handwriting inside of the notebook. He looks, he looks far too carefree, carefree and, cute and cute to be an asshole, which is part, which of, is part of the problem. In any of my searching, would I have seen reports, like even at this point, news articles, reports of Lloyd Nightspire separating away from his mother? Or is he fully, like, he is right there beside her? His trademark. His company is trademarked by Iron Blood. It runs under Iron Blood. Going nowhere. Going nowhere. He's a fucking, He's a fucking mama's, mama's, mama's boy. boy. Yeah. Huh. Is there any news articles depicting the? <clears throat> Is there a news article saying like, "Hey, new radio show, Lloyd Night Spire, uh, Night Spire News"? Want me to touch you, but you don't want me to touch you. Could you please make up your damn mind? Sure. Because <clears throat> I I can't think of the, uh, a reason why there technically wouldn't be, but yeah, you you can start to see um 
a record of, of all the episodes. Uh, what about... Um... Because, of course, there's going to be smear campaigns and investigative journalists going on because, hey, this is not a news station. Of course, they're going to try and smear that news station to an extent. Um, is there anything in these articles that go along, uh, explain, like... <clears throat> it's one thing to be like, oh, yeah, his mother is taking care of this. But I know there's the occasional journalist, especially with a vendetta, that when they do the due diligence research and looking into it, does it seem like Lloyd was all in on this news, or was he more thrust into it unwillingly? And it's kind of it's it's not a career; it's a job that he's trying that he is forced to do. Does that make sense? You find in most of the pictures and the articles that talk about Lloyd. First of all, you find very little when it comes to criticism against him. And in reviewing over the information, he's extremely charismatic into his work. He talks about refugee operations and trying to be involved in a lot of the sponsoring events that go off between he, he said he tends to be the face of the company when there are mutual events between Riverbend and Everburn and Ironblood together. He's their PR, PR boy. He's, their PR he's a very PR. PR. He's, a, he's a very PR boy. <clears throat> Could you discern that it would be him treating like a job versus something he loves? I will say you cannot. Yeah, that'd be something for me having to talk to him and tell me to my face. Okay. Mama's funding, Mama's funding it, for it for him, him but, but in response, in response he makes damn certain, he makes damn certain Iron, Blood Iron Blood looks good. And a lot it's of... He's got a comfortable sense looking at his smile. And let me guess, a lot of people out there are not critiquing him, eh? Not a lot of critique. How many news, How many news services, are, services are, there? are there? Several. Can't even an honest, can't even an honest actually this document. Talk about, most of them just tend to talk about what was discussed on the most recent news about him. But nothing, nothing in negative sense. Who is the most notable person that is record, uh, reporting on these disappearances. Nobody. There is no noted notices about disappearances. Motherfuckers. There's frequent discussion about the natural born effects onto different coalition operations very many of them talking about the decimation of these neutral parties talking about how <coughs> they putting a lot of the knights of the dawn in your investigation putting the knights of the dawn in a very positive light of course of course they will what does Night Spire Industries specialize in? You mean Iron Blood Industries? Sorry, Iron Blood, yeah. They specialize in making, crafting, and building the military and defenses. Who's their biggest rival? Who could gain the most? The other two companies. Riverbend tends to work more in chemical production and working more on the air uh, the herbology department yeah and i had something for everburn i believe it was more for um shit what did i write for everburn i thought it was more on the industrial so there's no one else that's producing military 
is just iron blood. Natural one would hypothetically be the most likely to go back and change if they could. Herbology, Herbology and, and chemicals, chemicals. They, could, they move could move over. It's it's far less, far less likely though. Like to get, <coughs> to get into. I mean, granted, this granted, is this is real world, world as opposed to non-real world, but. but It'd be harder, It'd be harder, to, harder switch. to switch on a dime like that. With all it this... was Riverbend that crafted the White Death. My point, My exactly. point exactly. Eris, I think it's time for us to return back. I got all the information I can, and I am not pleased with it. Oh. Other people's turns! Other people's turns. Not happy. Not good. Not good. Nox is now walking around the room saying that he's really not happy. Oh no. I always love. Oh, he's wanted amazing. Feelings. This is in character. Yeah. Feelings that will go away. <laughs> There's gonna be some emotional damage, and I think we're expecting that today. It's about 8 p.m. when Knox and Eris finally arrive back. Little Fink and Rovin, you guys have a cup, several cups sitting between y'all that you've been sampling different jerkies and, and ordering and tea and separating them by preference. In fact, you guys have been kind of back and forth for the last 15 minutes having the same mental argument back and forth about one particular piece. You feel it's a four, he feels it's a five, but he's been putting all of them in five because it's all been food. So each time you move one back, he puts it immediately back in the same cup of five. Rovin considers this an evening well spent. <laughs> Rovin is weird. He is nursing a cup of uh, weak wine and just watch a sweet wine actually she's going, gone for like a dessert wine and she's just sort of watching them like she, she feels like yeah, someone yeah, should, so she feels like someone should put Rovin in a jar and shake it sometimes just not not hard just enough to agitate him up a little bit Trust me, you actually Rogan, 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 is seriously about, about the same. The same. It's really, really funny, funny to watch, I promise. <clears throat> now, you do eventually acquire something called Goodberry Sangria. It's a delicious, nutritious, and actually quite pricey con uh, sweet concoction that's known to become a fan favorite. Yeah, yeah that does sound like it would be healthy as well. It sounds very tasty. Does anybody, Does anybody come, looking come looking for me? For me? I guess Mia would at some point, but she'd also probably see that, uh, not in the mood, and so she would very politely leave you to it. Bail, you've oh, had no, moments no. of... The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, little, uh, little spirit, spirit and I are just passing the flask back and forth, and he's pretending to drink it, and I'm actually downing it. You, each time you kind of look towards him, there's a couple drops where his mouth would be. He doesn't actually have a jaw, but he's been bringing it up to his face nonetheless. Oh, sweet. I... <laughs> I'm mildly amused at all this. Well, the floor is yours, guys. You see Nox and Eris and Compression come on in. <laughs> Mia toasts them with her cup, with her good berry sangria, and back and like sort of waves them over. You know, nudges a seat out next to her, two seats, one next to one, like further on. But you know. Grab a seat. Have you two seen? Have you seen Rovin? Uh, did, did she get like just a cup, or did she get like a small pitcher? Are you test test? Yep. Hello, test. you're here. I can't do this. Oh, it yes, does know it to be pricey, but if you ordered more, um, I, I would say for, for a pitcher, it's going to be at least like 20 gold. Jesus, Jesus fuck. fuck. Well, 
you know, I mean, Neo, Neo it's good being here. sangria. It's actually magically inclined. Yes, yeah, so well, she's very so, so yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. That's that's the point. So yeah, Nia's going to pour them each. A, like, she's she's only drinking probably like a little bit, but yeah, and one the pitcher is probably most one, one sip at a time. time I'm assuming. Exactly, exactly. It's it, this is for you know savoring. She's not. She just sort of got it, hoping that when they came back, they could have some, you know. And probably, she hopes it might do something for the potential hangover when Vale inevitably comes down south out of her mind. Because, you know, good berry is a healing, technically a healing thing, so. Vale will walk down, down pour a, a like, refill, like, refill her, her splash, splash, and then, and then just walk, walk out, out without a word. <laughs> have, have you seen yeah. Robin? For the record, for the record just, to just to clarify, I haven't told you guys, you guys what, happened. what happened, did I? No. Nope. nope. We don't okay, know. So, so for, for, all, for all you guys know, I'm just, I'm just having a breakdown. Yeah. You're having a veil. Turns and it just sort of indicates Roven. He's right there. They've been uh, they've been tasting jerky for the past checks the time pa past couple of two, hours now. <clears throat> about two hours. Yeah. I think we need. I'd like to have your accompaniment upstairs in the room. I found a few things out, and it's best said in privacy. And Nox, Nox is going to say that and go over to Robin to say the same thing. Yeah, hops up. I'm, I'll am i go with Reveal then. I think she... Well, yeah. She hasn't been gone that long, right? So he is going to just, you know, pursue. And with a second cup of the good berry wine, the sangria figuring again. And you feel that she's capable of both speaking and comprehending words at this point. <laughs> Even if she isn't, it's the thought that counts. For the record, For the record I'm highly, I'm highly entertained, entertained that you think I can down, down that much alcohol. I've seen you sign it back. I mean, that, I mean, would, that be would be her, her, her mindset. mindset, her mindset but just the but idea. But just the idea. <clears throat> oh yeah, one's Nox. Nox and Reese Robin. I found a few things out, but uh... Let's meet up in the room, and Knox will head upstairs. Yeah. We, uh, I suppose, are going to be doing this. And the music starts. All right, I think we're all up there. Yes, that's right. Let me just... <clears throat> no, uh, just making sure everyone's up there. Uh... Yes, yes. So, what I have discovered... Uh, is Robin up there? Robin is. Okay. Did you guys actually, guys actually come and get me or not? Me or not? Nia did. Alright. All right. What I have found is, unequivocally, the writing in the notes is Lloyd's Night Spire. I've done a bunch of research, and it looks like Lloyd Night Spire is the head of PR for Night Spire, so he's very much entangled with his mother. Uh, good. Well, so they is, are... Uh... Good that you've performed such a diligent operation. The ire of Vale is not a hammer to be wielded lightly. Right, right there, you know. Well, on top of that, it wasn't Night Spire that discovered the plague. It was... What's the other one? Uh, Riverbend. It was River, Riverbend that developed it, but if he had anything to do with it, it was Night Spire involved, without a doubt. Yeah, pushes the uh, tumbler of good berry sangria she saved for Vale towards her. T pulls it back after a moment, tips a little bit more from her own cup into it, pushes it towards her again. Just just drink it, and, you know. She's, like, she's happily, like happily downing. downing this. My concern is this. They have hid their information so, so well. This news channel of uh, Lloyd's is, there's nothing. There's no 
no one's coming out attacking him. There's no one investigating them. There's they're all somewhat covering each other's asses. It's a bureaucratic nightmare. nightmare. What the hell do you expect? It's not a bureaucratic nightmare. It's a uh, not, not, even, not even not even that it this isn't a bureaucracy this is this isn't a democratic anything Th these people control everything these people say what happens and it happens they could make us disappear very very quickly oh wonderful a conspiracy exactly what we always wanted <clears throat> if we were, as if we weren't part of it to begin with and you find yourself surprised? We seem to find ourselves in the midst of those on a fairly <coughs> basis. But there's one one avenue that I'm considering. All these companies work with money, and news of this information getting out would be incredibly poor. Oh, yes. oh yes. So yes, it works absolutely, yes. absolutely excellent with, uh, what was Aspen. her fate? Aspen Beam? I mean, she I mean, just she decided, just decided to, go to go bluey, bluey with, with a bloody rogue. rogue. Not or, or, Mac, sorry. Mac, sorry. Nox, you do realize that the prime directive of any company is to make money. Exactly. That's why I think we actually have one advantage. I'm going to spend the night and tomorrow copying these documents. And, <sighs> and the you fact might you might need sleep? Uh, we'll see. Robin, when we go in tomorrow... I think you are, I believe you're correct. We are going to admit to omit as much detail as we can and dance around them. What has to happen? What's yeah, being said? Oh, sorry, you went offline. What? Nothing. Um, on top of that, I'm going to have these documents so that if we can leak them to the other corporations, to those that's, well, I'm hoping that these documents in their hands, they may be able to cleanse them a little bit and then release them as actual targeted attack against Night Spire. We might be able to have some form of leverage. That's such a faint hope, but it might be all we have to make sure that they don't make us disappear. The idea of these big companies suddenly seeing having records that weaken Night Spire might just be enough to keep us safe. But what are your thoughts? I would put more trust in a good sword for that application, but it's, not, it's the best plan that we have at the moment. I suggest you proceed. I looked for the record. I looked everywhere I could find for some dissenting um, news organization, nothing. There's nothing negative against the Night Spires. And we can't, I, I can't hand this off to some whack job screaming from the rooftops. It, it's not going to get, it's not going to get the reception it needs. I hope that, unless someone can think of someone else, something else, I, all I can think of is essentially giving a bullet to the other corporations to shoot, hopefully, Night Spire with. Or at least hold them in line. Blackmailed, even. Would they fire it at Night Spire, or would we just find ourselves shot in the back? Anonymous tips, anonymous information, very well documented, especially with how available Lloyd's signature is. They could easily figure out the truth to it. And with such things, they'd be able to... And yet, and yet they haven't so far. Well, they don't have these documents. And for all we know, the CEOs and the heads of corp these corporations might not know entirely what's going on. So let me, so let me, let me, let me just choose just not to. for a moment. <clears throat> you're, expect you're expecting this that this entire planet fucking planet with their bureaucracy left, right, and center who, who wants to backstab, to backstab every, every other idiot may, that may possibly, possibly potentially, potentially, maybe, maybe have any interest, any interest in getting their claws, claws on more gold, gold than the other one. Wouldn't, wouldn't have, have gone through every goddamn every everything to make damn certain, certain that they could frame their competition, their competition to get them out of order. You and you think that one little piece of paper that you so caringly copied out will manage to 
break your entire stronghold by people who have no problem stabbing everybody else in the back if you put a toe out of line. It's not breaking. I, I, I just, I just want to make certain I have this right. Well, we can always have the other option, which is go in without, hopefully, a backpack that might save our ass if we have to jump out. Metaphor, a parachute. We can go in with nothing. I like, I like your parachute. But that's the thing is, we can disappear. They can easily make us disappear. They would happily make us disappear. I unfortunately showed our hand. I didn't realize that Night Spires were part of all of this. Well, you, didn't, you didn't know any better and you were doing the <coughs> best you could. So the last thing I want is to have us suddenly be on the one the missing posters next. No one will come looking for us. They really won't. Well, well, that's a bit of a lie. These people can make us disappear so quickly. Let's back up slightly. They'll come, They'll come the for the star child. child. They'll come for you. Because apparently everybody wants to pretend that they're your brother. They'll come for their illustrious prince. prince. And, and you're just, you're a, really just a really good mechanic. No, they'll go after everyone. They'll go after I'm every- I'm well aware. I'm saying, I'm saying that people would miss you, miss you fuck. Is that, Is that good enough now? now? Good? We good? Now we know, now what, we know what the hell we're up to? Good. good. She walks, she walks out, out taking the pitcher of wine with her. Nia just watches her go and just, like, sighs a little bit. <sighs> oh. <laughs> now what? I'll take the time to copy the documents over. And then tomorrow, mm -hmm. in about 24 hours time, I think, maybe a little bit less, Rovin and I go in and hopefully we come back out. Does not fill me with the most confidence, I'm afraid. You're not the one walking into the belly of the beast. No, but I mean, I do have something of an interest in coming out alive. I'm not sure what to do about it, though. I mean, I, I don't really have any sort of sway here, which is not surprising, but who, who do you have to... I, d I don't like that you're just going in there and hoping for the best. I mean, I don't have a better plan, and I certainly shan't stop you, given you know, you're a badass <coughs> man, and you have your own mind, but... Ah, I won't say I like it. I don't. Well, my concern is that if I choose not to go in, I'll have armed guards at our doors escorting all of us in. So it's best to s pretend to be the fool. I can be quite foolish sometimes. I suppose we all have the joy and privilege of being fools together. <sighs> well, we have a few hours. We have hours to plan ahead. I'm going to get at copying these documents and. Well, I guess seeing how how the days fall. Bullshit, Rovin. I can hear you talking. You didn't say anything. I know. You changed. Alright. Well, with that, Nox is going to head to his room, take out, uh, once again, get his calligraphy tools up, and begin copying these documents. And with that, why don't we uh, all take a five minute break? Ooh la la. Pause the recording. Pause recording. All right, so it is. We'll go ahead and say it's approaching the next day. You guys sleep well. Some for those us. who need to. Knox will work a little bit later. Still aim to get a full eight hours rest because he needs his spells for tomorrow. 
And then first thing in the morning, he'll have a bit of coffee and keep. A bit, a bit of coffee. Copying. Why? Why? Where's the, where's where's the, the, where's the, the pot? The pot? It, vanished. it vanished. Well, well you, know, you know, ask, 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 the, gnome. ask the gnome. It, it, it looks like Knox with the conspiracy scene, scene from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. 29 on copying everything, by the way. Sorry. He's making really good copies. Very efficient, actually. You are, uh, you're actually making one-to-one -one really good. Uh, you're... Makes the impression his research was actually true, or is just like copying. It could almost he could almost make a fakes himself if he keeps trying. <clears throat> that was only a roll of sixteen too. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm. Yeah, it is twenty nine. What the hell? No, what? I think I'm just tired. Anything else you guys are going to be doing for the day before yeah, your interview? Or they go, or they in, go in on handing out the cadros. Nox and uh, Rovin. Vale has offered to present you with her trusted ally, Cadros. Similar in color and nature to that of Rovin's Sunblade, but blue. While Rovin is honored to be uh, potentially trusted with both such a invaluable object and ally, uh, he's going to decline at this point. Are you sure, Vale? No. No. Oh, that sums it up. Okay. okay. Take, him anyway. Take him anyway. <clears throat> With a no like that, how could I not take it as a yes? Take it. Got it? Got it? Good. Good. You come back, you come back, he comes, he comes back. back, I don't need, I don't need to, to hunt you down, down after kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Got it? Got it? Great. Go. Go. Hey, Naya, those good berries I think are more sour berries. Oh, dear. <laughs> Vale doesn't, Vale doesn't even bother, bother responding. responding. She just, she just like, walks, walks away. Walks away. Right. But out of character, Kaya just about broke character. <laughs> Can't. You don't need you don't your face, need your face that, badly, that badly, do you? Because we can test, we can this, test theory. this theory. <laughs> well, she's, she's, she's okay up there. We arrange it. She's going for the juice. It she's might, might be. be. Anything else you guys are doing? <clears throat> While she's threatening, threatening my team. team. Well, some we're first thing in the morning, guys. We still have, what, 8 p.m. until the I meeting? Or is it 8 a.m.? Before you left, left not, not immediately. You got, like, 12 hours. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we don't have to do changes or any of that yet. Okay. Nope, Nox is Aris, just going to chill you, and relax. Eris, do you want another feather? I mean, of course. Uh, they are willing to trade you for a spell slot. Which feather, which feather, feather am I getting? Oh, what feather do you want? I thought I had a new feather option. Or is that not good? You have the toxic feather, and you have uh, the illithid feather. I don't know how many I have each. What about the metal feather? That 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 is the toxic feather. I'll, uh, I'll take a middle, middle feather. Sure, I'll take that one. Okay. They, they would be willing to trade you for one of your higher spell, spell slots. Okay. Okay. You will go ahead and give up one of your spell slots from your rest. In exchange, you will acquire one of that particular feather. You can go ahead and put it down in your inventory. I've been meaning to tell you that's been an option. <clears throat> and the... 
The feathers allow him to wild shape into those special forms, right? Yes. Oh, there you it's go. Just the ex it's just the exchange of, of one of his uh, spell slots. His higher level spell slots. For, and you'll, you can acquire a feather once daily. It doesn't go away. You, you can you can stockpile as you will. Yep. There you go. Uh, and just a heads up, Falcon, because you're asking about your spells and whatnot. You're, you can only cast so many spells of the levels. So I think you can cast two, uh, three level twos and then maybe two level threes. I can check right here. And you can only, so you're now at two out of three level threes. But remember, take a look at all your um, spells because druids get to choose from their entire spell list. Yeah, that's a thing. Uh, Elnaya, are you looking to go buy materials or merchandise or shit? Hmm, should probably. Not quite sure what we need, though. Uh, did anyone keep a list? I, I'm pretty sure Nia has everything she needs for the ritual, right? At this point? At your mental capacity, yes. Alright, so it's basically, uh, well... Although, Although I don't, I don't, have, I don't have any money, so never mind. Were we going shopping? We were, we were and, then and then I realized I didn't, realized have, anything didn't have anything to go shopping, shopping with. So, so not, on not on my part. Roman will hand Vale ten gold. Vale, you are now up ten gold. Bail will, will, as, as sarcastically, sarcastically as possible, curtsy with, with her, her limited, limited amount, amount of everything, of everything and, then and then very gallantly hand it back to him. Thanks, thanks, but I'm not that hard up. Who do we lose? Roman will shrug, take the gold, and exit the uh, building. Hey, Selina, the spotty one. Oh. Where'd, you, Where'd go? you go? Apparently, her, apparently, her internet died. Oh. oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and do the new sound. Uh oh. As you take the opportunity to go check out the available options, you guys eventually end up across town. At a small little place called Wob's Distribution. Redistribution. Wob, wob, wob. You immediately can smell in the air the sulfur from the forges and see a number of different skelt that are already seemingly working and trading among themselves. Little bits and pieces. That wasn't the right button. If you're going to do it, you need to do the right button. You see a front office. And listen to the heavy sounds of the materials. And other machinery moving through the area. Oh, if only they had a forge. <clears throat> Just a real shame. They do have a forge. Hi, how much is it to rent your forge for a few hours? <laughs> you hit. come on in and then immediately are greeted by an overly loud skelt that seems to kind of come, come through the front door. I'm trying to remember how I'm supposed to... Well, Dart tuned in a half. If I could go ahead and spin a can, I think I would go ahead and say that right now. Hello and welcome all over to the distribution center, my dear friends. He goes ahead and slams down the nearest pier of metal. Well, I 
really appreciate. God damn it, where'd my accent go? Into Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, no Apparently. shit. If I still had lungs, I know they would be uh, taking a deep breath right now. Hey, look, we got skinnies over here. A number of the different skelts seem to take quick notice, but then fall by that. returning back to their current duties. Some of them digging through some of the rusted metals. It is while a... others seem to be hurting skelted uh, creatures of different variety. Your warm welcome is quite a... Thank you, it's very rare that we are received so welcome. We we usually don't go ahead and get skitties coming on down here ever since you most of us seem to be just go ahead and get whatever we can get our hands on. Wait, what? Why? What's going on? Them coalition boys usually go ahead and keep everything over there at the at the recycling plant, so we don't usually get too much over here if we can't. Don't mean we will go ahead and require a couple of repairs once in a while. I can most assuredly help you out with that if you ever need something. Well, darn too, we got a man who knows a wrench or two around here. We could always appreciate it. Nox will smile, point at his companion compression. <clears throat> well, I'm Wob, that's red, and this is Pad. Pag? Pad? Pad? What were you going by again? Pag, sir. Okay, perfect. Pag, Pad, Pad? Pad tie if I could. Hmm. So, what is this place, if I may ask? You go ahead and look around, and you, like I said, you can see a large forgery that seems to be burning in the distance. You notice several livestock of varying skelt varieties, as well as just some people that seem to be kind of skirting around into the dishes. Well, this is where everything that doesn't end up in the recycling plant goes, my friend. We go ahead and work on trying to make sure that everyone has what they need when they can't afford everything from the uh, taxman, if you will. So you're a little spot of freedom within this crushing coalition planet. We gotta be. Is everything since ever ever since our rebirth? We gotta go ahead and make sure that everyone gets what they need, especially when they come out of the oh so planetary womb with nothing but the metal on their backs. I'm so sorry. Sounds like you got a frog in your throat. You got you got grung in your throat. <clears throat> I woke the baby with that one. Is he just staring at you going, what the fuck? No, I just hear the dis- <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm sorry, what was your question? What do you, what got, do you for got for arm? Well, it depends upon the kind of arm we are, you are looking for. We have different types of sails all the time, but what are you looking for, little missy? She does her best not to flinch at being called that. Um, um lighter. lighter, if you could. Something that makes less out noise. Lighter armor. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed, supposed to be looking, looking for. for. Light armor, yes. He goes ahead and steps away from you and kind of... Actually, you know what? I lied. He comes over and grabs onto Vale's arm. Well, Little Missy, if you don't mind, let's come on over this way. See what we can get you today. How many hours do we have before our meeting? Vale's doing, Vail's her, doing level her level best not, best not to punch everybody. <clears throat> Twelve-ish hours? If you will direct your attention over towards, uh, let's do just stick with general right now. But uh, as he walks over towards the forge, you'll see him kind of taking several buckets of material and pouring it into the forge machine. Ooh let's go ahead and see what we can go ahead and get today. He goes ahead and seemingly spins a wheel. And 
with my snipping tool. Are you behind? Are we all here or just you guys? I think we're all here. If you will pay attention over to the general chat, the following armor has come out. Oh. Ha! Nice. Except that doesn't really work for her. I need something that's a wee bit quieter than that. Mm -hmm. He goes ahead and pulls it out and be like, well, I won't lie. This is paper thin as it is. Doesn't really look that comfortable. In fact, this is not warm at all. If I had skin, it would tell me this is cold season. She looks over her shoulder and knocks and, you know, going, help me. It does indeed look cold, sir. I do like your hat, though. The, the problem the problem with Mia like that is it's not really designed for one that tries to blend in with the shadows. Though it's very masterfully crafted. Um... You see him like starting to grab like more bits and pieces of things from different buckets. He throws them back on into the same machine. Well, we can go ahead and see if we can try again. Hold on one second. Machine kind of flares up. Neo watches. It's a random machine, isn't it? Oh, huh. It is a random machine. Far leather gloves. Which, well, okay, which finger is missing on the left glove? Probably the fourth. It's the fourth. I was going to suggest the middle one for, like, added uh, oomph to flipping people off. It is a if shame. If you have something better in mind, it usually works a little bit easier than me just chucking crap on in there, but honestly, I'd just like to go ahead and see what comes out. It is very interesting. I am enjoying watch. I am enjoying the observation. Where did you, did you feel you was something? These are definitely some extraordinarily small transactions. If I gave you a something, <laughs> would you be, would able, you be to able to use it with it? To make, something to make something with it. I can make something out of anything and anything out of something. You tell me what you need. I'm half to just that... go in the calamari. Please, God. Please, God, no. There was, there was not a, I had like a strip, a strip of, of something, something that I got. A strip of something. No, something no, stripping. Me talking to you, man. Oh, okay. I have mimic, I have mimic skin, skin, and I have, like, like the thing that we got, from, thing that we got the, from the, uh... <sighs> Where is it? Fuck, I, can't I can't remember where I put it. It, it was the, um, thing we got from saving the ship. Insurance ship. Insurance ship. Oh, the, um, the, the weave? <coughs> yeah, the, yeah weave the weave of things. Of things. But yeah, but, I have yeah, that in Mimic Skin. I mean, if you, if you want to go ahead. I'll hand, I'll hand him those two those things, things and, and a bolt, a bolt of, fine of fine silk. silk. Oh, damn. And what are you desiring is made from that, my dear Vale? I have Vail. no idea. Well, I'm hoping you want, what, chest on my gloves? Boots? Well, something that's, something that's going to make, going to make my, my AC, AC better, better than, 15. than 15. Does that help? Does that help? So probably, so probably like, like chest, armor. chest armor. There you go! I have nice, I have boots. nice I'm boots. I'm fine, I'm fine, boots. fine with my boots. He goes ahead and looks over the bolt of fine silk first. Kind of reviews it over. Well, I think we can go ahead and get one more shot out of this thing right now. Let's go ahead and see. 
I usually go ahead and try to charge for each kind of spin, but truth be told, I like you people that you seem to be nice and I, you haven't had to go ahead and shot me yet. So <clears throat> let's see if we can get a shot. Well, for what it's worth, I'd really like to pay to use your forge sometime. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Is Bridie still good of the Jesuit? <laughs> what, what, no. Catholicism exists here? It's a G-suit, obviously. Huh. It makes Vale more smarter. Hey, yeah, it do. And increases her perception checks. Vale cool. gets a, Vale's wearing a <clears throat> veil. Huh. Ooh, ooh. I wonder if that would actually bump my intelligence to 21. Well, the plus four perception will come in handy with that. That That's quite the item. That is. With smell. Well, Knox, if it can assist you. Oh no, this might assist you quite well. I would recommend the veil. Yeah, be a plus cool. three, so that would give you a huge bonus to everything. The other problem is I only have 108 gold, and I don't think it's enough for this lovely piece. Well, how much uh, are you charging for this? Well, you are here and supplied half of the ingredients, so I was going to say I'll go ahead and do half price if you want. Which would be about? Uh, it says 2809. That'd be a 4809. Sorry, 4809, so it'd be a 2405. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> we have 3,000 gold to the corporation, to the company. I'll take, take it. What? What? Woo! I'll, I'll, I'll go it. ahead and take a deal. With what? Corporation fund. You can see him like already like smacking his metal knee. You hear the clank of uh, metal fingers smacking metal fingers. You can go ahead and pay at the desk. Peg, would you go ahead and bring him up? I'm going to make it work. work. I'm going to ask you anything, anything that's a chess, chess piece, piece that helps with flying or just flying, or just flying in, general. in general. He comes on over to you and like pokes at your wings. These are looking pretty good as they are, sir. Yes, yes, but I want to improve things. And this leather, this leather armor, armor has been, has been through some things. things. I need something refreshed, if you know what I mean. Refreshed. Yes, yes, I do. Except I'm out of gold. Now you all are too. No, uh, you keep your gold. Oh, so am I supposed to help you pay for this? It's all of the corp. It's out of our true. So, so, so I something. How much do you have? Also, also well, well, how much did you? Because I didn't. I haven't removed so, what so, you so, 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 all the Keep the entertainment. Well, when you're, you just gambled. You literally just gambled. Normally apply in this case. Well, I gave him quite a few good things, so I did technically get a good selection out of it. Yeah, it's some interesting stuff, that's for sure. The intelligence would be good for you because it boosts all your intelligence stat related I'm things. Well, you're literally on the threshold, so uh, plus one would bring you up permit, uh, one, one more. So, to a different one. yeah. Which... Uh, while I'm looking that up, does anyone have any other oh, wait, yeah, things that they're looking to specifically purchase or look into? Well, it depends. If it's a hood. It's not a cloak. I already have a hood. Nox is looking to use the forge for a little while. And he's happy to help uh, build, uh, assist in any other constructions. Trade, barter, you know, that sort of thing. He would allow you to go ahead and use the um, 
the forgeries as you would like. Nox. Forge. 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 Nox is going to do some more work on his anti tank rifle. I'm, I'm coming up with your answer there, Aris. <clears throat> uh, don't forget, I also have the gloves that double my crafting speed. And so I'm currently... My first roll in this anti-tank rifle was a 20, not 20 plus 13. And this one was a 16 plus 13. And that 20 plus 13 was like the first attempt a while back. You got him kind of stumped for a moment there, Eris, as he kind of like thinks on his head, on his head, saying, "We don't usually go ahead and have to. G Not many of us usually have to go ahead and get you up to the stars, and I would think that we go ahead and have to." He, he kind of like ponders for a moment. Y'all got any of the magic cores on you? Oh, actually, yes. You'll hear from the side. I do. Uh, well, go ahead and give it a whirl, if you will. Now, this red magic core was burnt out, right? Or is this the one that was just opening one of the doors? Um, I got this from the sewers. It was it was just opening up the door. Okay, it so. wasn't burnt out. Wait, do we still have? No, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so uh, I'll quickly, as I'm, Nox is working on the uh, the forge over there. He'll walk back, hand over the red magic core to Eris, and then walk back and continue his work. <clears throat> For what it's worth, Eris, I do have an arrow crystal, some silver dust, muted rider marks, muted mantle, octolith. What the hell? Muted mantle skin, croc hide, croc teeth. Hide generally is lighter armor, if I recall. Yeah. Well, I think the problem is this object, this contraption creates things randomly. It's it's. Well, it's. Uh, it seems like, like something. If I gave it a little more, more specified sorry. instructions, it might produce something more interesting. I also have a preserved vial of frozen seedlings, drakish flowers. Shards. Big shards of crystal creatures. Anything you want in there, Eris? I wouldn't mind just getting rid of some of my stuff. Work. I don't know. I don't know about this kind of side of thing, so just put your rest in and make you guys craft your guys. Get the, get the job done. Job done. So you're just looking for like a lighter armor? Oh, it needs to be, it needs, it needs to be, to be lighter. light armor. I'm just Giving it a world. I wasn't expecting such a particular question. We just stumped. Stump DM. We just stump. We just stump. We just stumped. Stumped.
Okay, seriously, kids. <sighs> I'm trying to look up my other sheet here because I need to now look up source material. A quick question, DM. You was that? Uh, our time image. What are we looking at until we finish this session? I'm still thinking like twelve. Also, had to cut earlier. Ten. Ten. I think that's his time. Uh, how how long and how long is that? Uh, an hour and five minutes. Unless we had to cut right, earlier. Are you tired? Well, no. We we got to be up still. It's. Uh... Six, maybe, maybe make it a half hour, perhaps. Make it a half hour. Okay. Yeah. Your thoughts, okay? Yeah. No, sorry. It, uh, we still got to be up early tomorrow. The. So remember what I said about the grand opening with what we were doing? Yeah, they pushed it back a week or two. Thankfully, but it still means that we're like all still buzzing. But I think the goal, uh, my goal, is to at least end this before we do the big chat. If that makes sense for you. I hate how we do that to Swan, but it's like. <laughs> he kind of thinks for himself and goes into a separate bin. It looks like things that he's already been kind of crafting and pulls out this very light blue, very crystalline-like shirt. Well, this here is made of arrow crystal. It usually goes ahead and makes it a little bit lighter for you. It's always good for you dexterity taps. But... Oh, it got, mm, 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 he kind of like spits for a second as he's like, <laughs> nope, 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 you ain't, you ain't that kind of tap. Mm, uh, uh, mm. He's still like fishing around. Man, Falcon, you had to go ahead and say light armor. <laughs> and... Did you say light armor? I mean, I, I, mean, said, I light said light armor. armor. I know you guys said light armor, and I am looking. You said you said you had that um that shadow silk, right? That was, that was my intent. Yeah. Are you doing a reroll on that? The shadow oh, silk nice. mimic skin and light <coughs> like fancy, fancy silk, silk that I got from barrels. Now the shadow the shadow silk we can still use if you want. I thought I did use, use the shadow silk. No, we stole the other silk. What other silk? Oh, so fine gave silk. You, I gave you a bowl of fine, fine silk. Yeah, I, mimic, that's, that's mimic, what we use. That's skin. what we use for the other one. Oh. oh. Like I'd like to use, use I'd like, I'd like something, something that will give me a better AC. That's, that's, that's probably, probably armor. armor. That's, light. that's light armor if I could. I'll take light, I'll take light mail at this point. Some... Just something. I'm sick of being, sick hit, of being by hit by things. things. I am just confirming how long this takes. Uh, Nox, you would be helping with the crafting process, right? Yeah, absolutely. If uh, there was a chance to help out with that, as a like, I'm Nox is hoping, and from the sounds of it, can use the forge to work on his own personal projects, and he has no problem stepping out and helping out with his uh, his friends. Then I'd say if you go ahead and take up the shadow silk, you would have enough of her material to actually make her some. Um, some light armor it would still have the same hit points of light armor uh, but it does gain the benefit of while wearing clothing or any non uh, metallic armor made from shadow silk you would gain plus three uh, bonus to dexterity cell checks while you are lightly obscured nice so your ac is the same you just get a bonus to not being detected Let's see here. How much do you want to put into it? Padded is about five. Leather is about ten. And studded leather is about 45 gold. Uh, 
leather would do fine. And that would be plus 11, plus, uh, that'd be 11 plus your dexterity modifier for your armor class. 11, 11 plus, dexterity? plus dexterity? That's an 18. Yes. That'd great. be great. That's real good. That's studded leather is 12 plus your dexterity. I'll take the leather. Studded leather, if I recall, is too heavy. Uh, it's 13 pounds. Uh, oh, leather is 10 pounds. 11 plus your dexterity will be 15. It's the same. I was about to say, okay. if your dexterity not check bonus. modifier is 7, oh, we're going to have a, a big <coughs> conversation. <laughs> oh, sorry. oh, sorry. I thought, I thought it was my saving throw. Balls. Do you want to stick with the studded leather? Uh, she needs to do a bit of looking to see if studded leather is going to affect her. I think studded is classified as a little medium? Nope, yeah, it's still light. Oh, maybe on the top end of light then. It's the top end of light. Sure. Sure. What studded letter stats? Easy. 12 plus dex. So you're up to 16 then. And in loot discussion, I did put the description. And Eris, is there anything you want to put into an armor to help boost it or anything? Because we do, we can give you more studded leather. It is the highest of light. I don't, Unless I don't you have, have studded, studded leather, so. Do you want to try chucking anything you got? I haven't really picked up anything, I don't really know. Well, well. I could well, exactly hypothetically chuck in, chuck in like, like uh, shadow uh, beams or, or aspen beams dagger, dagger that, I that I got for him. You could. Wait oh, a minute. Help. Has anyone been using the witch's ring? Witch ring? Not What's this? Not that oh. I recall. The, the one that lets you turn into a cat or something. We have a ring that lets you turn into a cat? Yeah. The ring, ring uh, allows you to go in and, like, poison, poison a weapon once per day. Uncommon requires two men. This ring allows the, allows the wearer to transform into a particular beast for <laughs> two hours a day. On the firing ring, roll a d8 to see what form the ring grants its wearer. Uh, one is cat, two is frog, three is bat, four is owl, five is rat, six is raven, seven is spider, and eight is goat. Each night, no. the ring's creature can be changed to another from the list. Warlocks and druids may cha choose from the list when they transform. Yes. I kind of want to toss one in there and see what kind of armor comes out. Do, uh, do, do, do we have any of that plague seal on us? Should we be using that? Hmm. I've got shattered, shattered dragon skull. skull. Oh, we have some spider silk, actually. <laughs> as soon as I realized it was veal, it was like dark veal. <clears throat> as I said, I got a bunch of random shit that, like, how about we speak to the gentleman and see if he'd be interested in... I got a crystal brain. Nia needs iron. Good sir. Good sir. Can we make, Can a, we deal? make a deal? He, he like, leans across the, uh... The nearest cart, like, my lady. We'll provide, we'll provide you some, you some of the gear. Of the gear. To turn into, into interesting things, things. you give us. Does anyone, anyone want to help me with this? Me with this? Apparently, Apparently, I can't, I can't seem, to seem to word. word. I am unsure what you're trying to. I want to get him to give us half off for this stuff. 
So you're trying to persuade him. That one. That one. I'm <clears> shit <throat> at this. We'll provide, we'll provide you with things you never have been able to see before, very rarely, very rarely. and we get, and to, we get keep to keep the end result, but we'll pay you for your time and your effort and your machine. He thinks really deeply about your... Uh, can you give me a persuasion check? Who? What? And uh, let, let, let me let me say this. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. I right. told you that happened. Okay, I was expecting well, to. The die decided to roll a natural twenty. Congratulations, R and Jesus said pointed at you and said yes. RNG feels, like, feels like it's fucking. fucking with me. Perhaps it is, but in a good way. For now present yes he seems to you your statement seems to definitely have brought a an intriguing look across his metal smile face as he definitely is interested to see what materials he can get the planet can only provide so much but to get you know, skinnies to be coming through, especially if they're offering things that he can't get. He's definitely willing to see what uh, what his little uh, forge can can put out. He'll definitely offer a deal. Uh, what are you willing to get, guys willing to hand over to him that he will convert? Well. Nia and Roidus both need fancy dagger. Sorry, Nia. Go ahead. Nia and Roidus both need uh, new armor. I think they're uh, they're both a bit squish. Um... We have, I think, unless it's been used in other potions, or whatever, spider silk and drake blood. And neither of those were needed. We have, dragon we have dragon's blood, blood and, dragon's and dragon's teeth. teeth. Hmm. 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 I have some scales from the thing too, don't we? No scales. No By scale. the way, I will take the cost of these items that you're giving and use it towards the price of the of the goods. So the more you guys give, the 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 cheaper things get. I have, I have the dagger, I have Aspen, Aspen Beam staff, staff, which I don't think we ever actually with. worked with. I have Mimic, I have mimic Adhesive. adhesive. I probably and other probably things. other things we'll if people to want to keep talking. Well, I mean... How about this? How about this? Good sir, what, Good sir, what kind of things do you need to make armor for these two? He only sees one. Right, Mortis is in the Raven Slumber right now. Uh, uh, you see him like one. adjust his actual like eyeball, like kind of turning it a little bit, being like, "I swear, my double vision is not kicking on back to me now. No, Don't no. you be making me think that my vision's going bad real now." I had to go ahead and see the doctor the other day, and he told me, "You know, you had made a metal right." And I was like, "I thought I was pretty sure I was this skinny." Oh, don't worry, my good friend. You are not going crazy at all. Not in the least. Naya, what kind of armor are, are you thinking about? Just something that has more hit points? Something that makes me a little more durable, and perhaps a little, uh... It would be interesting if it could... Maybe... Ble hmm. I'm torn between more obvious and less <coughs> obvious. More obvious because, of course, Bard, she's very flamboyant, but le or less obvious because she's a Bard, she's very squishy. Either way, <coughs> less damage would be the ideal. This girl, uh, this girl would like to survive this, thank you. 
This girl is so squishy. She cannot help it. And Voidus, of course. You know, he's he's just using non-magical chain mail and he could do with an upgrade. Mia is uh not especially I, I mean he granted he is currently pretty nigh indestructible, but that's not going to last, especially if they have to fight Oh. Hmm. I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> was that devil uh, we had to deal with? W w was she like big on the fire magic, perchance? Yeah. Yeah, probably. probably. Flame resistance, please. <laughs> or immunity. Flame resistance or immunity. I have some, I have cloth, some cloth of gold vestments. vestments. The, the dragon blood would probably be good for uh, you know averting. And a large, a large pile, pile that you may, that be, you may be able to use in all this. Like like just like a large, like the file. I, I have large, large file, file written down, written down along, along with bag of gold. Oh, you're talking about when you when you found the stash. I guess. I guess. That had information about <clears throat> the secret project. Probably. Probably. Are you you want to throw that in? At this point, At this point it feels, it like, feels we're like we're kind of getting rid of all of our stuff. Actually, while Actually, I'm, while at, I'm at, at it, let's go with a bundle of cap. cap. Bumble <laughs> of cap? Which goes Which for goes potions, for of, potions of, heroism. of heroism. Bumble... Bumble cap. Potion of heroism. Better than a bumble fuck. Roman will walk over and add a bottle, fi bottle of petrified gnome scalp. Oh. For a while. Petrified... Scalp. In addition to that, he will pull out a silver owl and stick it on in the pile as well. Silver owl. The more you put on, the more like you can see like. Well, for us, it would be like our eyes growing wider, but for him, like the lenses are just getting wider and wider the whole time, as this pile on top of this cart just continues to build up of you guys just pulling things out from your pocket. He also has a large piece of jasper to add to this endeavor. Did I mention the cloth of gold vestments? I got that one, Dan. Ooh, ooh, I know what I can do. Um, I've got three I've got copper, copper worth of iron. Worth of iron. Okay. And what else have we got? Um, um, we'll put in, we'll put in four, four of the dragon, of the dragon turtle, turtle beaks. beaks. Okay. One bushel, One bushel of silica, silica bean. I'm sort of torn here. Should, should we? Should we perhaps? Give this guy some of the plague steel. Of... Is that shit like? Uh... May, as well. May as well. Well, no, no. Is it uh contagious though? Hmm. No. Okay, so yeah, let's give this man some plague steel and see what he can do with it. Mimic adhesive, Mimic adhesive. and a small and dragon, a small dragon statue statuette made of amber. <clears throat> I'll add some barrels, barrels of fine silk. silk. Is that the same silk that Yori gave away? I used a, I used a bolt, of, bolt it, of it, not a barrel. You didn't necessarily, you didn't necessarily specify, specify, I just went bolt, bolt versus, versus barrel. I like to believe that we're doing this Skyrim style of, this seems like a lot of stuff you guys have been just shoving in your pockets this whole time. Well, it kind of has been. This, as I'm just writing down this list, I'm like, got it. She had a barrel on her. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, didn't, exactly I didn't exactly think, think about, how, think about how this would I'm work. I'm just going with it, with it okay? So I had the Re amber dragon statue, the barrel of fine silk. There was something before that. Oh, four dragon, oh, four beaks. dragon beaks. Dragon turtle, dragon beaks. turtle beaks. Wasn't someone asking for a magic core for me? Was that used? Uh, it was uh, 
Yes, he was asking for a magic cord. Was it used, though? Uh, I mean, you haven't given it to him. I, I gave it to Eris, and I went back to continue doing my constructions. Eris, are you going to be offering the the um, magic cord? Yep. Red magic cord. Yeah, and I gave, and him, I gave um, him um Aspen Beam's fancy dagger. I did get the Aspen Beam fancy dagger. You want somebody, you want, somebody wanted, wanted the, uh, the uh, dragon, blood? dragon blood? Yeah, for flame resistance purposes, presumably. For mine, Sean, I'll offer my three steel uh, feathers to pick up for myself. <coughs> the three steel druidic feathers. How many of the, many of the dragons, blood do you want? I have five. <laughs> That's all I got, so. Everyone's like, oh, it's about to miss it, it's about to miss it. It's way too flaw. It's going to be epic. Oh, no, I, have, I have a feeling that all of these are different things. things. Hopefully we're just going to chuck a few things in at each, at each, at each bout, and then we'll pay for it on the way out. At least that's what I'm hoping on. I'm hoping we're not all going to throw everything in at once and see what comes out. Oh, no, this isn't like a, okay, you know, throw it all in and get a pair of dice back things. No, 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 no. But it, uh, but it is to your benefit that we will be ending around like 11.30 my time because I will be having some heavy work in terms of price comparing and seeing what comes out of the machine. Makes sense. Yeah, you, yeah, you wanted the dragon skull, dragon skull and, the and the teeth. Why is there I gunshots? Have ten, I, have ten I have ten dragon teeth, teeth and the and dragon, dragon skull. skull is worth the Steam. Steampunk mechanical sounds. The Shattered, the Shattered Dragon, Dragon Skull, skull is, worth is worth 125 gold. gold. I mean, it is a baby skull, skull but it is a skull. We're throwing in the Broken Dragon Skull? Well, I mean, well, they, I mean need they need armor. armor. This is probably going to be good for youngster. What about pieces, pieces of Phaedra? Of Phaedra? Oh, that would be very funny. You want to throw in god charts? I mean, I mean how else are we going to keep her away from herself? As I lean across my invisible GM table, would you like to throw in god charts? Let's start with, Let's dragon, start with dragon teeth. teeth. The God it, it, hold on, he needs to prepare for this. Do you plan to use it at Probably some point? Probably not. I'm okay. just asking if that's a good idea. No. Is that no for we don't want to throw him in, or no, no. is it like... No. 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 Not a bad idea. No. Not doing it. Yeah. I've been told. Also, I don't think also, that either Neo or Mordor really want to be able to be, I would say the effect would be bigger if you threw in God shards. Because you are literally throwing condensed pieces of gods in. Can we just, uh, can we just like, take a greater, greater to them? I'm sorry? Can we take a greater and add, like, pieces? Well, no, if <laughs> you threw in a shard, I'm, I'm counting pieces. it as... <laughs> 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 I'm just I'm just you, you literally want to take a chunk of a <laughs> god and just be like, here, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of parmesan on the top of this suit of armor here. Just, we're, just a little, not just a little scraping. Yes, exactly. 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 I just want exactly. a little, just little, little, little power, and power and I'm going to parse it out with small pieces and small doses and it's going to be fine. Be fine. No, it, this is how we started the restaurant known as Olive God Inn. <laughs> <laughs> Olive God Inn. Oh, the gods are going to be for this. A sprinkle of divinity in every bite. Precisely! Would, like would you like a little bit of Jesus? Oh! oh stop! Stop! I mean, to be fair. That's how they make Jesus! That's how they made Jesus. To be fair, the, 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 one, the, one, of the one of the magic, magic, magic existences for Victorian and pre era, pre -era times was known, was known as, mumia. as Mumia. And it was quite, and it was quite literally, literally Egyptian, Egyptian mummies. mummies. So this, so this has a precedent. Has a precedent. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah, it was, yeah, quite, it was literally quite literally an actual, an actual like, like thing, thing that they, that they added, added to potions, potions and shit. And shit. Oh, you have, oh a you have a headache. We'll just, we'll just add, add like, like powdered, powdered skull, skull and, and powdered, powdered Egyptian, Egyptian mummy. mummy. Are you my mummy? Anyway, anyway, how many dragons you did you want? Uh, you, Nia was keeping two of them. 
Oh, sorry, the, the, oh, no, 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 the that team. Was the team. Are you my mommy? Uh, Nia? Hmm? How many of the uh, teeth were you keeping? Two. All right, All right. you may have two of the dragons. Thank you. And I will be getting three. Three, was it? Sorry? Sorry? Uh, how many teeth were you giving the guy? Two. Two, apparently. Two it is. Okay. <clears throat> Anyone else want to throw things in? Trying to figure, trying to figure out, out if my selection of random shit has anything else. Anyone else? Anyone else? Nox, I haven't heard you say you want to throw anything in. God, no, I'm busy working on my own stuff. They're also, they're doing something weird. weird. I'm not. What was in my large file? file? Oh right, oh no, right, that's no, that's an actual file file, 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 file not P H I A L. Never mind. Robin can add a potion of climbing if that would be of any assistance. Gee, I think she can climb naturally, can't she? <laughs> you can throw in a potion. Oh, oh no, I'm oh, no, expecting, I'm expecting multiple, multiple things to come out of this, and then we just split what we want. Effectively, how it's going to go is everything, I have to go through everything and put a price on it, and then everything gets divided in a particular way with a certain amount, and then whatever my generator comes up with that matches best will probably get it. And I'm sorry, did you say you were buying that uh, that silk helm from earlier? Uh, we did, but then shit, then shit happened. happened. Uh, have we? Are we officially purchasing it? I don't, I don't know. Two thousand four hundred and five dollars. Oh my word! Well, I've already spent it technically, so unless someone says, "Uh uh," well, then we're still, we're still out, out pieces of things. Who needs, Who intelligence? needs intelligence? I mean, I, 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 my GPA hasn't been the best, honestly, and I could probably use a little bit more myself, but oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, I, mean, I, think, that's I think that's the case, the case for most of us, but when, when was the last time you were in school, man? It's been a while. Precisely. Precisely. You guys can also throw in weapons if you want. Yeah, I did. There was a lovely, lovely selection, selection of um Aspen Beamage. Beamage. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Nia, didn't, Nia, you, didn't take you take Aspen, Aspen Beam staff? staff? That's a good question. I don't actually remember. Uh so I believe Aspen Beam had given you had acquired two things. It was a staff, and I would need to remember what it was, but it was an official item that makes things kind of revolve in the air. Yeah. And oh, yeah. then it was her, there was a vest that did lightning damage or speed. But, but I don't, I don't remember a vest. A vest. There, was a, there was a ring and a lovely, and a lovely chirp, chirp and a staff. staff. Those are the, Those are the things I remember. <clears throat> Fuck it. I'll, Fuck it. Throw, I'll in throw in the emerald, emerald choker, choker that gives you dancing lights. Seventy-five gold, by the way. Love it. And whilst, and whilst I'm, I'm at it, she, it, she had a poison ring, ring and, a and a lovely chirp. chirp. I, I want whatever comes, comes out with that poison ring. Poison ring. And I think the chirp was what y'all were using to power um, overhaul with. Sure. Sure. Okay. 
I think Eris had that last. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, well if it's used. being used. Oh, that's, oh, all, that's I all I got. So, you know, so, you know somebody, else, somebody has else has ideas. Right, that's, right. It, that's, that's it, that's all, everybody? I think that's all. And I think that's actually would be a really good moment to, uh, to call session at. Sounds good to me. I have work to do. Oh boy. <laughs> Let me, uh, it'll end up with good things. And uh, Knox, tell me um, in a separate message what you would like to uh, be done with um, in terms of your your anti your 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 rifle. <clears throat> this is a full on. So uh, I I guess I'm going to uh, send. I try, I try to keep track of of the progress and the parts and the pieces and whatnot. So right now I have recorded nothing because I have two rolls on it. Also, by the way, I, I actually went for a luck roll and got a slightly higher roll. I'll send you the two rolls I have, and the first one I know was on the ship without a proper forge. I was doing woodwork on the stock. This one I'd actually be doing metal work, but I'll send that to you in a message. Okay. All right, peeps. Well. With that being said, we will schedule for next Saturday and let the odds be ever in your favor. Yeah. With luck, with luck they will be in our favor. I'll be sad if I gave up all that stuff only to not get something cool. Yeah. The reason why I'm not touching this. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're just gonna. I didn't actually mean for that to happen. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I, I literally, I hit, I hit the play button on just introduction music, and the first one was the breaking news sound effect. But yes, we'll end with the fact that you guys all get a nice, wonderful sound in the distance in each of your chirps in a very prelude, in a very foreboding way of listening to your your suspect speak on the phone in his oh so cheery voice about the wonders that is the daily news fuck a duck not drunk enough for this where's my hot dog when I need him I gotta cuddle him I'm, I'm very very, very, very confused, confused and we'll be back in a bit bye bye unless everybody's, unless everybody's gone in which case good night <laughs>